Morning everyone, so it has been really really wet the last week, loads of hydro power but I haven't been able to do too much on the building, uh, but the weather's meant to be nice for the next uh, about a week or so, pretty dry weather, probably going to be the last chance I get to do some external plastering on the top workshop, uh, so that's what we're going to do, we'll make it look like this wall here. So yeah, I'm just going to do a mix now and uh, start getting some of the uh, more critical areas plastered, some of the bits that are a bit more exposed. Yeah, let's get to work. Right, hey everyone, so I got myself a new lens for the camera to try and get wider angle shots, try and get a bit better perspective for you, seeing what I see more. And uh, yeah, it looks much better, get a lot more in frame, so that's good. Yeah, I'm trying to get a bit better at making the videos because everyone that comes here and sees the buildings, they always comment on how big and uh, how much bigger it feels uh, in real life than in the videos. So I'm trying to get some better equipment so I can get across the size and scale better. But yeah, first coat of plaster's going on well. Um, we want it rough at this stage, this is the idea of it. And I've been blessed with a week or maybe even a bit longer than a week of good weather. So I'm going to try and get a couple of coats on this externally so I haven't got to cover it up with the tarps again. But yeah, working my way around. Got a little bit of help today and uh, hoping I'll be able to have a chance to get my drone up in the air, have a little play with the drone and uh, show you the workshop from above. Yeah, working your way around, I'll get the first coat done today, I reckon. Right, there we go, good day's work. So we've got the first coat done on all the walls. Front wall left to do, but it's hardly anything. It's mostly windows. So yeah, get the front wall done. Then I think I'll start doing some cob on the inside. Cause I'm doing all lime on the outside, cob on the inside. Um, and then that needs a few more days to dry. Another three. Then I'm gonna start going around second coat. Work my way around doing that. Hopefully get two coats on before it rains significantly again. Because, um, yeah, lucky with this weather at the minute. But yeah, the new lens looks good, doesn't it? Gives much better view. We'll get the drone out once the sun comes out. It'll give you a few drone shots, it'll be good. Yeah, first coat of plaster's done. So get you a few drone shots with the new drone. It's really nice to get some uh, new angles of this building because it's also the first time I'm seeing this building from a lot of these angles. And it's a real treat because it uh, looks just 
as it's supposed to look. It looks exactly the same as the model I made and exactly the same as it is in my head. And uh, I really think it blends in to the surroundings really well, especially when uh, we get a view from significantly above it, like uh, like this view now. There's still lots of mess around the site because it, you know, it still is an active building site and there's still lots of jobs to do, tidying up, cutting that pond liner back that's overhanging and I've still got to finish this um, pitched roof on this side with the um, wooden shingles. So there's still lots to do and we're going to put another second coat on this plastering soon as well. But yeah, still lots to do but really nice to be able to uh, get these views for you and really get across the uh, scale and the shape and everything of the building that's taken uh, so much work to get to this stage. So I woke up the next day and it was uh, pretty miserable. It wasn't raining but it was uh, we were in the clouds basically. Uh, it wasn't lime plastering weather. So I mixed up a batch of cob and uh, started to slap some cob on the uh, inside walls. The inside's just going to be cob with, um, with lime wash over it. Um, because I'm running low on, on slaked lime, I've only got enough to do the outside in all lime. So the inside's going to be uh, cob and uh, with a lime wash over the top. Saturday morning and uh, today I'm going to do some more cobbing. Um, I'd like to be doing the external plaster and make the most of this good weather but it's uh, it's just not set hard enough yet. It is set but it's um, where it's quite a thick layer the first coat it needs quite a long time because lime is quite slow to, uh, to set, well lime putty at least the stuff I use, uh, it needs at least seven days to set and uh, we're only on about day four or five so Today's cobbing, I'm gonna uh, probably start maybe doing the second coat of the external stuff on Monday. Yeah, but I just realised I'm getting ahead of myself with the cob because I haven't even run the light switches and stuff, so I need to get the lights run. So I'm gonna do that now and then uh, cob for the day. So I've got one switch on the staircase that leads down to the lower workshop. That's where the feed comes from. So yeah, I can be down there switch the switch that's in the lower workshop and that turns on the light to the stairs and it will also turn on the main lights in here and then I'm going to have a two-way switch so, so a second switch but controlling the same lights next to this door so I can come through this door and also turn those lights on so the switch on the stairs and this switch will both operate the main bulk of the lights and then I'm going to have some individually switched lights over certain areas as well right I'm gonna get a mix of cob going get my uh, get my helper to start fitting that while I sort out the wiring so this is a 50 50 mix so this is this is clay subsoil with um, quite a bit of sand in it already but it's, it is a mostly clay subsoil and um, sand so 50 50 you want about 30 percent clay to sand but there's already some sand in the subsoil so We'll do that and add some straw to it and then get that slapped on the walls.
Right, cobs mixed up. It's a nice mix. So let's get it on the walls next. Love a bit of cobbing. Right, just finishing off this wall. This is uh, probably have another coat after this of something, whether it be earthen plaster or um, maybe just a lime wash. Right, good Saturday's work. Um, so we got that wall done there. And I got that bit of the other wall done yesterday. Or was it day before? I can't remember. But yeah, we also got a uh, another big mix done. There's about half a ton of cob there, so that's quite significant. But yeah, I haven't been able to film much because um, I've got help that doesn't want to be on camera. Um, and I've got to have, I mean, the help is really helpful to me at the moment because I really need to get this building done. And uh, so yeah, I'm not going to turn away the help, but it means I can't do all the filming I'd like to do all the time. But uh, Monday, Saturday today, Monday I'm going to start doing the second coat, which I'll be able to film more of, and I get the drone up a bit as well. Yeah, coming along good. Look at that. How nice does that look? <laughs> what a view. Yeah. Except I'm in it. Hang on, let me get out of the way. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, what's the day? Saturday, Sunday tomorrow. Sunday's a day off, but not a day off really at all. We'll be working in the garden, and we sheep wrangling, all sorts. But yeah, technically it's a day off because I won't be cobbing. <laughs> all right, I'll come back to you on uh, Monday. All right, morning everyone. New day. So today I'm going to start doing the uh, second coat on the external plaster. Uh, I was going to be using uh, animal hair, so horse hair, in the mix, stop cracking problems I've had before with lime plaster. Um, but I haven't got enough horse hair, so I'm using uh, chopped straw mostly. So I'm just uh, chopping up some straw now. I've got some straw on the floor and a uh, garden shredder. I'm just chopping it up in preparation and uh, yeah, we put chopped straw in it. It helps the plaster bond together, and when it starts to shrink, it tries to the strands of fibre in it stop those cracks from being able to be um, structurally a problem because there's bridged between little bits of fibres. Traditionally, it's horse hair, but straw is another thing you can use as well. And then the lime preserves the straw. So yeah, we use straw because that's what we got. Yeah, let's get uh, get some chopped up. Right, so the mix I'm using is um, I've got lime putty here. So this is slaked quick lime. So that's quick lime reacted, added to water. It makes traditional lime putty. So I'm doing one part of this, two and a half parts sand with uh, chopped straw added in, and that gives us a good strong backing coat. And then it'll get a top coat over that, and we'll mix it up in the uh, roller mixer. Yeah. That's our mix, nice fibery, strawy mix. I'm hoping that doesn't crack too much. Key with lime is to not put it on too thick, but with the earth bags, it sort of needs to go on thick to build it out. So that's going to really, really help with that stopping of it cracking.
Might be a good position to film there, but it's not a good plastering position. Right, had a pretty good day today. Second coat is going on. It's not cracked so far. Probably will a little bit because of just how the difference in thickness of the coat. Yeah, a dot on the drone a little bit today. Did a little practice on the drone. So she's going to be chief drone operator, hopefully when she's around. Um, so yeah, we're still learning how to use it. So give us a bit of a break with that. I'm learning how to edit and stuff all the, all the different videos together, but yeah. Second coat is going on, success. Tomorrow I carry on, I'm hoping to get round to the door tomorrow. Right, it is the next day, and I'm hoping to get round here somewhere, ideally that corner there. Um, I've got a helper, helper that's not on film, but I do have a helper doing a bit of mixing, and uh, we've got a good thing going on where he uh, fills up a handboard, takes it to me, I put that on the wall and we swap and going backwards and forwards so I'm never having to go into the wheelbarrow to get any uh, mix out. So that's really efficient, that's working well. Yeah, Let's just uh, slap some plaster on the wall I suppose. Hey big girl, you on guard? Checking for those mice? Good girl. You find all those mice. Right, another day down. We've got plastered all the way around to this corner. So tomorrow I'll do the uh, front wall, or we will do the front wall, and we'll, uh, we'll have the first coat done. So yeah, got all the way around here. 
still another coat left to do but we're at least we're protected from the bulk of the rain and the uh and the uv so i shouldn't have to cover them up so yeah ah <sighs> can't cannot wait to have this finished now i love what i do but a project like this drags on a bit after a while and i'm excited to get it done and actually be able to use the space but coming along it's a nice view in it in the evening sun so i managed to get the uh, second coat done all the way around so the front wall is done as well uh, it looks really nice to uh, to see it like that without all the just the tarps and everything in the earth bags it really brings it together getting some plaster on it uh, this coat will take a long time to set so I don't think I'll be getting another chance this year to get a top coat on it but I think it should be set enough and protect it enough from the winter hopefully I don't have to uh, cover it all back up again um, the next job I'm going to do is I'm going to board up all the windows all these windows as you can see here <laughs> just having a little play with the drone flying through stuff but yeah I'm going to board all those windows up in preparation for the winter because we do get some pretty big storms here um got quite a few more jobs to do left on it um and i'm gonna be working on the uh, pitched roof doing the rest of the shingles in the next video and then uh, we'll be carrying on doing the cob on the inside i just thought i'd give you a few different views of the place and just learning to fly my drone and get some nice shots i've ordered a external microphone as well so i can uh, talk to you lot while i'm flying the drone as opposed to just doing voiceovers so that is going to conclude this video really really pleased with how it's all turned out and the progress and uh, really pleased to have a drone and get all these nice shots and angles for you so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you very much for watching